Welcome back to another vlog. If you are new here, I am Brianna. If you've been around the block a couple of times, hey girl, hey girl, hey girl. So I actually, it's like 8.30 in the morning. I was already at work, but it is a gloomy day and I honestly just need coffee today. So I am in the line at Starbucks. I was like, I'm just gonna leave for like 10 minutes <laughs> to go get me coffee real, real quick. Um, but it actually feels so good out today. Like it is super gloomy. Like it's been 105 plus all of July. Happy August 1st, by the way. But today I woke up, it was super gloomy. It was like 65 degrees. It's supposed to still get up to 91 degrees today, but right now it just feels so good. It feels so good to go outside and there's a nice breeze. Is not hot, doesn't feel like you're being cooked in a microwave or anything like that. So it's a good day. But anyways, I just wanted to jump on here, start the vlog off, spend the work day with me, and we'll see what we'll get into today. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll figure it out. So talk to you guys in a little bit. Good morning. Can I get a grande ice white uh, chocolate mocha, please? Grande ice white chocolate mocha and for only 50 cents. Did you want to make that a venti? Uh, no, thank you. Perfect. Anything else I can get you? That would be all. Thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you at the window. Okay, thanks. Starbucks people are like always so happy. <laughs> like, it's so early to be that happy, but they're happy. And guys, as you can see, I'm back looking decent. I finally washed my hair and blow dried it out. So we back looking <laughs> presentable. now and uh first thing i need to do is since it's august 1st i need to um submit to the new mexico uh, human service his department the child support enforcement division um i need to submit um the monthly totals of like whoever has to pay child support i have to submit uh how much we paid into their child support for the month of july well how much they pay how much we took out of their check for garnishment um for the month of july so i'm going to work on that now and get that in the mail so that's something i do on the first of the month for the previous month <clears throat> Also, um, today is payroll, so I need to start making sure. We had a lot of people sign up for 401k last month, so I just have to make sure I enter all of those um, from Vanguard and make sure I put it into our Paycom so we can start deducting their 401k. So that's also on the agenda. So, long day today. <clears throat> Alright guys, I'm currently on my lunch break. I just got me some Taco Bell because it's literally right <laughs> at the next corner um inflation inflation is like it is real it is it is it is crazy out here like i i'm a shopper right so i always know when prices are going up like i always i have always noticed when bread went up 50 cents when this went up a dollar when this i'm like i'm like one of the first to always notice it because i'm a shopper 
and I look at prices. So I always know <laughs> when things start to rise, right? But when did two steak chalupas at Taco Bell become $12? What did it come up to? $12.03. Like when do when did two steak chalupas become $12? I, I didn't even get a drink. I didn't even get a drink. I got two things and it was $12. Crazy. But I'm about to eat my steak chalupas real quick on my lunch break. And I'm going to get back into work and start processing payroll. Hopefully that will make the rest of my day go by really, really fast. So I will see you guys then. All right. So now I am back in my office and I am about to start payroll, but I have to put in referral bonuses now um, for people that refer people and they have reached their 90 days here. So I just need to make sure everyone is still an employee. If they are, I can put in their referral bonus for the, those that referred someone. We have some people that refer someone like at least one every month. <laughs> Sometimes two people a month and they get a lot of big bang because our referral bonus is $250, which is pretty decent. Um, so we get people that sometimes get $500 on a paycheck because they refer to people, which is a nice little amount of extra money. So I guess, and there's one person I'm like, this is your hustle because <laughs> she's always referring someone. But anyways, I just wanted to uh, check in with you guys, let you guys know what I was up to on my work day. So let me get these referral bonus in and then start my payroll. All right guys, we are all for work and as you can see, so windy. <laughs> and I thought I would never be excited for all this wind, but this wind feels so great. I don't have to worry about <laughs> being so hot right now. Hopefully it just did not rain on me before I get to my car so yeah everything is done Woo -wee! well looking made it to my car before it started raining because I did not want to get my hair wet and be looking like a tiger not a tiger <laughs> looking like a lion all over again because i just washed and blow dried my hair and i did not want that to be to go to waste but anyways time for me to get out of this parking lot good morning guys it is the next day um i'm actually just running into the smith's grocery store really really fast before i go into my job my job is literally at the next corner so i just wanted I don't want to go to the gas station and get an energy drink. The grocery store is always cheaper. And you know me, I love to save a cent. <laughs> so. Okay guys, I am back in the car and all I got was, I got this little plant in there. And these plants was only $5.99 and they were pretty decent. So I was like, hmm. Huh maybe maybe and then i just got these for my waters at work and what i really went in there for today was the celsius because they were three for um three for six dollars so two dollars a piece when you go to the you know go to stop at the gas station they're gonna be three or four dollars then i just got these chalk for her uh back to school um sign that we're she's gonna do for like you know my first day of school stuff for my daughter but anyways i really need to get to work because talk to you guys in there <laughs> currently on my lunch break for at work today i got me some wendy's and i know i know i've been doing so horrible this week with um i've been doing so horrible this week with eating out my life is like so hectic right now so until i get my life together 
that's what it's going to be. Hopefully, I have my life together within this week. Um, my This week has been really, really, really hectic and crazy. My mom, she went back to Ohio yesterday, so I had to drop her off late she left out um at 10 40 something last night so i had to take her so she can go on her journey back home um you guys all know my mom's been staying with me for the whole summer um watching my daughter for summer break but she's gone now so today was just hectic my daughter had to go to camp today and just just it was just it's just been a very very hectic week we are prepping and getting everything ready for back to school she starts kindergarten on monday so she had a orientation last week and then she has um open house tomorrow where she gets to meet her teacher so we're going to be doing that tomorrow and then of course school starts on monday it's so crazy how summer has just flown by so this week I'm just preparing for our last week of summer break and getting everything organized and back to getting, trying to ease our way back into a routine. So that's what we're doing. And for some reason, thinking about back to school, I don't know, like I, it's been so hot, but these like yesterday it was pretty like windy. It was a pretty like, it felt good. Um. It was still like 90 something degrees, but during the day it was just, the wind was flowing so bad. But anyways, it's August. I'm starting, I love summer. I want summer to stay as long as it can. I am a summer baby. I do not like the cold <laughs> um, in gloomy skies at all. But for some reason, I was just craving chili. <laughs> So I got me a chili from Wendy's with cheese. So I'm about to just um, break my uh, crackers inside of my chili. So I got that and also just a, a uh, cannot talk a junior deluxe cheeseburger. So I'm about to eat my food real quick. And then I will hop back on here before my lunch break is over. And we're just going to talk a little bit for especially for those moms that are stay at home moms are looking to go back into the the job force or or you might not be a stay at home mom but you're looking for a new job so we're just going to talk about little things that you know tips and pointers that I have shared on my shorts um but I'm just going to incorporate some of those um in this video today to help you guys out because these kids are going back to school a lot of us a lot of you guys might be going starting going back to work or whatever the case might be i want to help you out but anyways let me eat my food and i will talk to you guys in just a little bit. guys make sure you hit the like button and subscribe you will love it here all right guys i got my samples for the month with my two free samples i got this one especially since back to school you know germs in a classroom with a bunch of five-year-olds so i thought that was good to have and then this is for like a herbal supplement if you're trying to get pregnant or if you are pregnant um really good for you um so we will talk more about that one maybe another day uh when we get into something else but those are my two free samples that i get every month at my job <music> second um sorry just for a little second and this is like our little walking area and it's just 
feeling really good right now we have a nice little breeze so i was like i'm just gonna come outside for like five minutes ten minutes just to get a little bit of fresh air before i end my work day but um i'm about to put some my lips is chat but this has been like my favorite lip gloss for what the last six months almost and this was the wet and wow collaboration with sesame street and yes i've really been loving this lip gloss like it's literally almost gone and i'm kind of sad about it hopefully i can find it or i don't know if it was like a limited edition or whatever but i'm gonna try to look it up um that's some why sometimes i don't like trying collaborations or limited editions because especially when you like something and you don't get more of it and then it's gone it's gone forever so yeah all right guys in um previous i mentioned that i was gonna talk about some little interview tips or three important things i mentioned this in my shorts but i must say I have to, I can't say it enough, right? I have to repeat it. I cannot say it enough. If you are looking to get a new job, um, if your kids are going back to school and you're looking for something to do now since you have older kids or whatever the case might be, you might just be watching me with no kids and just looking to get a new job. I will have to say the three, three important, uh, three important factors or three important skills are my most three important tips on getting your dream job or getting that next job in this new journey of yours. One would have to be confidence. I promise you guys, confidence gives you that job. I cannot express that enough. The more confidence you have, the better the interview will go. Um, I tell people all the time, um, if you, confidence spills out, right? A lot of times if you take over if you take over that conversation and not let the inner person that's interviewing you take over the conversation, not let it be uh, so question one, answer one, question two, answer two, question three, answer four. Try to keep it as more of a conversation. Try to relax that person that's interviewing because the person that's interviewed might also be uptight, might also be a little nervous. So if we could just bring it to more of a conversation level, I promise the interview will run smoothly. You will feel more confident. You won't feel like you're being drilled. Um, so that would be my number one tip. It's my second tip. Again, I shared all three of these tips in my shorts, uh, in one of my shorts that I did. My second tip would have to be personality. Personality also gets you the job. If you have 10 people interviewing for that same job, let's say five out of the 10 all had the skills, guess who's gonna get that job? The person that showed their personality, the person that showed a little bit more about them, the person that showed that person that was interviewing them, hey, this person's gonna fit right in in this department because they gave a little bit of personality. Don't go in there, yes, yes, no, no, no. Very straightforward, by the book. Show your personality, I promise you. Some people don't like to be their self. They like to pretend to be someone they're not. They pretend to be a know-it-all. Whatever the case might be, but me personally, as a person that interviewed a lot of people, I can read through all the bull crap. <laughs> I can read through the bull crap and I can tell when someone is dry as ever. I can tell when someone is somewhat lying to me and things like that. So always show the real you, give a little bit of personality because like I said, if 10 people, and that's the small scale, right? If 10 people went in for that same interview that you're going in for, Five of y'all all had the right skills. Five of you guys all had the right experience. What's going to bring you apart? What's going to set you apart from the other five, four people? Personality. And my last tip is honesty, especially for my parents that are going back to work for the first time in years. You haven't worked in a while. Be honest. If you don't know how to do something, be honest. If they ask you, do you know how to use this software? Be honest. You can even say, I don't know how to use that software, but I use softwares like that. I, you know, catch on for quick. I'm a fast learner. Things like that. Be honest. Again, me personally, I can always read through the bull crap. I can always tell 
80% of the time when someone is lying to me. And a person that knows it all, when they, yes, yes, I did that, da, 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 I did that, da, 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 sometimes I roll my eyes. <laughs> so be honest with yourself and be honest with the interviewer because it's been times where I took a chance on people. They might not have all the all of the skills but their personality. They were confident and I feel like I can teach them. So they got the job even though they didn't have the best experience in that particular position. So just keep that in mind. That's all I wanted to say. But anyways, I'm going to go back into work. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It costs you absolutely nothing. And I will see you guys in my next video.